Trevor finally exposed why Meg forced him to hide 19 years secret and destroy any evidence of a wedding. What was Meghan Markle trying to hide? Tom Bauer's book Revenge unleashed many truth bombs about her and her lies. One of the interesting tidbits is that she destroyed evidence of a first wedding to Trevor Engelson. Cherry Denise questions in a clip from a book review why Meghan would choose to destroy evidence that she was ever married to Trevor. Meghan Markle, then 23, and Engelson, then 28, began dating in 2004 and got married in 2011 at the Jamaica Inn in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. Their ceremony was about 10 minutes long, according to The Sun, but the wedding celebration took place over four days. There were two weddings, one at a courthouse in Los Angeles and the second, more well-known one in Jamaica. There was just one big party. He also alleges that no one could find out about the wedding without a court order. This is odd as she and Trevor weren't even well known. Meghan also didn't even want to get married for the right reasons. She didn't love Trevor. She wanted to marry him for the ring and that was it. Even his parents saw through her act and were devastated by her betrayal when she returned a wedding and engagement rings to Trevor in the post without a note. Also, no one was allowed to take videos or photos. However, her dad Thomas Markle did, and he's hung on to them. Only Thomas's photos remain, some of which have been made public if they are his. Moreover, Meghan wasn't aware that she couldn't keep the marriage a secret completely. As a result, the event in Jamaica attracted more than 100 spectators. They might all claim that a wedding occurred. The Suits cast was one of the attendees. There are now rumours that not every member of the cast approved of Meghan. One of them is reportedly Sarah Rafferty, who portrayed Donna Rachel Zane's best friend. Meghan was embarrassed to be married to a man whose career was at some stalemate. Also, she knew from the beginning that she was only accepting the proposal and going through of the wedding because of the bling. Does anyone believe it's strange that all the time she and Trevor were married, they never lived in the same house? Anyway, Meghan fails to realise that there's a paper trail. Not all the evidence is suddenly lost just because she refused to take photos and destroy the wedding video. There were witnesses. As was already mentioned, and Thomas's pictures, additionally, records indicating a marriage occurred, were filed in the Los Angeles courts. Even odd, Meghan has never denied being married prior to Harry, so when the divorce came around, she seemed to forget about everything and didn't have the marriage annulled. So why destroy the wedding tape in the first place? In conclusion, whatever Meghan tried to achieve by hiding that she was married to Trevor didn't work. Trevor tried to make the marriage work, but unfortunately for him, Meghan was ready to move on to her next target. Much to the surprise of Trevor, Meghan moved out of their apartment. She returned the wedding and engagement ring he'd bought her via FedEx. A nice way to end the relationship, don't you think? After Trevor Engelson was deemed surplus to requirements, Meghan moved on to dating and then eventually becoming engaged to celebrity Canadian chef Corey Vitiello in 2014. Corey Vitiello, the owner of trendy Toronto eatery, The Harvard Room, opened doors to a higher class of society for Meghan. The social circle included the son of a former Canadian Prime Minister and the global membership director of the elite private club Soho House, Marcus Anderson. This relationship provided Meghan with the means to make the jump from an actress to a socialite.